And here to talk to us about that Forza Horizon 5 livery editor is Mike Brown. Welcome back. Hey, Leah. Great to be here. It's great to see you. Uh, so that is a stunning livery. I think we can all agree. And it really sets the stage for what we're going to be talking about next, which is, as mentioned, the Forza Horizon 5 livery editor. So uh, you're going to walk us through uh, what we've got to look at here today. And we'll have maybe a little look-see, a little sneak peek, mm -hmm. a little preview. Uh, yes, so I should caveat before we start that that livery looked absolutely beautiful. I am not much of a painter and I'm, I'm not going to be generating, generating anything quite as beautiful as that during the show, but we will get a look at some of the cool new features and functionality in the livery editor. So shall we take a look? Yes, let's get straight into it. And you are selling so, yourself short, I'm sure. I, I, I'm excited <laughs> to see what we're going to come up with. We, uh, so before we jump into the paint shop, I was just uh, I was just checking out some of the new the new upgrade parts mm -hmm. on this uh, Jeep Gladiator, uh, rendered here in unparalleled detail thanks to ray tracing on the Xbox Series X. Check out those reflections. Woof. They are gorgeous. Um, and some sweet new upgrade parts there. Uh, uh, exclusive reveal here on the Forza Monthly. Anyway, <sighs> enough of the Jeep. Let's get out of that. Okay. Um, we're not here to look at that. Let's take a look at a different car. So I'm going to jump into, <laughs> I'm going to jump into my uh, Porsche 911 GT2 RS. All right. Any reason uh, in particular for uh, painting up this one? Um, the reason, the, the real reason is one because it's one of my uh, favourite cars in the game. Secondly, because I just wanted to show people this sweet new body kit uh, that is available on this car. You can get yourself a Duke Dynamics kit, which just makes it look a little bit more aggressive. Um, it's super cool. I just thought I'd uh, reveal, reveal that to the world. Uh, Appreciate it. <laughs> we'll, pop, we'll pop back in here in a little while, but let's go jump into the paint shop as that's uh, what we are here for. Right. Yep. You got your, uh, you're going with this base color here, this nice fluorescent yellow. Yellow. So yes, this is one of <laughs> this is actually one of Porsche's uh, stock colors. I think they call this one race race yellow or racing yellow. Um, I went with this one because I'm using the, uh, the new Forza Horizon 5 limited edition controller. Mm. And I thought I'd use that as the base inspiration for, for what we're going to create here today. Um, first of all, uh, regular Forza painters may notice that things have been rearranged slightly in the UI. Uh, this is the first time we've uh, really revisited the layout in, in a number of years. And we kind of wanted to bring it in line with um, kind of the the user experience that people might expect in a modern day uh, painting package such as uh, Adobe Photoshop. Uh, first of all, you've got this. Uh, we, if you're used to having the layers along the bottom of the screen from left to right, we've moved that over to the, to the side of the screen in a vertical stack so that as you're applying those layers, the uh, order of them makes more sense. So let's, let's see what I mean by that. Uh, I'm just going to grab one of these now. As I said, I'm going to try and do something based on the, uh, the Forza Horizon 5 controller. I've probably already massively oversold the, my artistic abilities there. But let's oh, start anything off with... you've a... undersold it. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. Um, right. The, so, so the controller is real bright as well, isn't it? You've got the, uh, the yellow base, and it's all paint splatters and gorgeous. That's right, yeah. And, and because it's a uh, transparent plastic, the way the light moves through the controller mm. makes it glow in the dark. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, so I select that, and then I'm going to move that over here. Um, already, you can see that the UI has been uh, been redone and reimagined. We have got fresh icons for everything. Uh, I said that I'm going to want to copy that one over. So I'm going to click Copy, and then Paste. And I'm going to select that duplicated layer. I'm going to change the color of it, and I'm going to go with this one with a uh, blue to try and match what's on the pad. Um, I'm going to move that one so it's not being completely splashed over by the uh, pink there. And I'm going to do that again to add a purple. So copy, paste, and then make it purple. Um, all of this is functional functionality that people may be familiar with, but it's presented in a way that's uh, it's fresh, and I think it's much more accessible as well. Um, yeah, now I, can, I was about to say, I can you can uh, do it quite quickly, can't you? You managed to go in between all these tools really fast, yeah. which is... I'm, go I'm going in between really fast. It still doesn't look very good, and I, and I should caveat, it's probably this is about as good as it's going to get today. Um, but it's amazing. Of... <laughs> Pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but once I've selected them, I've grouped those layers together. I can now click this button, and I can then copy those over to the other side of my car. Um, and then we jump over, and you can see there's a couple of couple of stickers I've added there earlier. Um, so this, um, once you get into it, once you get into that rhythm, it does make creating liveries that much easier, that much faster. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, one of the other uh, cool new improvements we've made as well is to massively increase the resolution of your liveries. So if you're playing on the Xbox Series S or X, then they're, they're much, much higher resolution when they're on the car when you're driving around in free roam or you're in races. Uh, regular painters will probably have experienced that thing. When you build, it, you're inside the editor, you build a really crisp, beautiful paint job, you get out into free roam, and then the realities of having to stream that around the world, it can get a little bit pixelated. We'll, so remember this, we'll take a look at that in a sec. But before yeah. we go out and take a little drive, I did want to uh, show another cool feature. So I'm going to save that to my car. Um, this, of course, is the uh, Porsche 911 GT2 RS. It's basically a race car that you can purchase uh, and drive around on the roads. Uh, but in Forza Horizon 5, you're not limited to sticking to the frankly awesome asphalt roads that we have in the map. Uh, you can convert the car and make it into a bit of an off-road beast as well. So let's jump back into the upgrades menu. Obviously, I've already okay. stuck this uh, kit on it. That did give me a little bit more downforce. Um, but... Um, you can now take any of the kind of road built cars and you can give them a couple of upgrades and then make them suitable for taking it off road, taking it, maybe you can head across a desert or take it onto a dirt route or maybe even across country. So if I click on the suspension, uh, down at the bottom of the screen, down at the bottom left, you can see that all of our cars now have an off-road score. That is the bottom one of those stats. Uh, on this car at the moment, it has an off-road score of 4.3. That's out of 10, so that's not a great score, um, but I can... Well. Quickly slap on <laughs> the uh, slap on some rally springs. You see straight away the car lifts up straight away, gives it that little bit more, little bit more clearance. Uh, it's going to eat up all those bumps and uh, lumps in the road a little bit more. There is another one as well. I could go for uh, drift springs, which does the opposite effect. It lowers it and it changes the stance of the wheels. But right now we're going to go for rally springs. Um, also going to have a look at the tyres. So we've added a ton of new tire compounds. Um, there is the ones that people are familiar with, the semi-slick, the slick. Uh, there's a drift tire compound, so you could combine that with those drift springs we just looked at if you want to turn any car in the game into a bit of a drift beast. Uh, right now, we are going to go with off-road race tire compound. And you can see as soon as I've selected that one, it's bumped my off-road score up to a pretty respectable 7.9. Um, I can give it a quick engine rev. I'm just going to add those parts to my car. And we'll take it for a quick drive, and I'll show you the difference they've made. Yeah, um, yeah so this is a car that it's been in. It was in, first added in Forza Motorsport 6. It's been in uh, Horizon 4 and Forza Motorsport 7 since then. So it's a car that people probably are familiar with the performance of if they've driven it in any of those games. And they'll know that it's a fantastic track car. Um, not really at home off-road, though. But with, the, with just a couple of upgrades, really quick. Now. <laughs> exactly, just a couple of upgrades, of and uh, we've made it off-road ready. Uh, and those upgrades are available for more or less every single car in the game as well. So if, you, mm. if you're a big fan of... Um, any streetcar, you're a 350Z. Um, if you're, you want to make a 350Z and you want to think, right, I'll, I'd normally take this and I'd send it for a drift, I'd take it out on the track, or maybe I want to take that out to go for a dirt race or a cross country as well. You can slap a few upgrades on it and you make it into an off-road beast. So you can see as I'm heading across country here, it's just, it's holding traction. It's got still got full control. Um, no problems whatsoever. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, That's it. Easy. That's a, a whistle stop tour of the livery editor and a few new upgrades as well. And I've stacked it into a rock. There we <laughs> go. <laughs> uh, did we get a, a look at the livery uh, up close in the world? Oh, yeah. Good shout. I forgot about that. Yes. So if I head off into a debug camera, we can get in nice and close. And you can just see how well all those crisp lines hold up mm. on both the stickers I've added there, the Horizon Festival and Radio Eterna, sneak peek at a new radio station. Um, and you can see all those decals there. Just no pixels at all just really holds up perfect quality yeah. yeah just like being in front of a real car with your own eyeballs um well i am always impressed by what the livery designers create in the game we've had quite a lot of livery designers here on the community spotlight and uh the talent is always mind-blowing so i'm excited to see how they utilize these new tools and uh keep raising the bar very very cool um and that is just a so we mentioned earlier that anna you're involved with uh, the gift drop and and is it kudos as well i was wondering if you could maybe tell us a bit more give us a bit of an insight on that process that you have with it uh yeah so kudos is like our little social currency we have now in the game uh where mm -hmm. you can earn them by doing nice things to other players like helping them do something or sending them a gift drop uh, or be nice to them in the race. Uh, so like when you're playing Horizon Open, for example, uh, you can give kudos, uh, you can say, say thank you to someone who, uh, I don't know, didn't run into you and didn't push you off the checkpoint <laughs> or something like that. Thank you for not being a jerk, basically. <laughs> Rewarding people for being good. <laughs> 
is there a competitive element like does do the kudos system like display on your profile is there I'm, I'm essentially thinking of someone who gets quite um into collecting things is there a clout aspect to telling people i have this much kudos i'm really really good and everyone loves me yeah exactly you can see it on your storefront so if you are one of those players that likes to create a lot of ugc or likes to flex within the game that's usually a great place to do it and that's somewhere where you can mm -hmm. see uh, your total combo count Sorry, your total combo count? Your total kudos count, which you do <laughs> I think one of the great things about, uh, about Anna's features as well is that she always makes uh, her features interact with each other in really, really nice ways. So, the, so Link, mm -hmm. um, one of the things you can do with Link is ask for help finding a barn find. So if you're inside that okay. barn find circle and you just can't find it, your Link will pop up and say, does anyone know where this barn is? And if someone else is in the area and has found it, they can select, yeah, I can show you where it is. And it just adds, adds a little clue on your map so you can go and find it. And then, oh, that's and then you get the option to say thank you, you can go thanks, and it gives that person a kudos for helping you out. Mm -hmm. um, shall okay, we? and how does gift drop work into that? That is a, a great question. So um, I'm going to do the gift drop if you want to talk through, Anna. Uh, yes, yeah, so gift drop is uh, if you're working as sent cars to other players, you can create like really nice liveries and tunes, mm -hmm. attach them to the car and uh, kind of send it. And then when the player receives it, they can say thank you. And that's what gives you kudos as well. So earlier on, on the Forza Monthly, I made this lovely car. It has a paint job. It has some upgrades on it. Um, it's a really sweet rally spec. Uh, 911 GT2 RS. say, big fan of the colour, by the way. I do like the colour on that one. It almost matches the, the controller, kind of almost. There's a theme <laughs> here, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, carry on. Um. Uh, so when you selected the car you want a gift, you can uh, select a uh, kind of who the gift is going to. So you can't select like mm -hmm. a specific person, but you can select like new players. So it's going to go to someone who just joined the game, um, or someone like community contributors. So that's people who have received a lot of kudos. Well, uh, you're kind of thanking them ah. for making the mm -hmm. com community feel great. And then when you selected the theme, you go into the message and every theme has their unique messages kind of in line with uh, what you're giving the gift for. So you can mm -hmm. pick a message here uh, and then you can sign it. Uh, so you can pick to sign it with your player name. So this is the name that you uh, pick from like this big select we have in the game. Or you can sign mm -hmm. it with your gamer tag or just unsigned and uh, no one will find out who sent the gift to them. An anonymous gifter. Yes. <laughs> uh, and here that. you That's can so nice. like look at the overall picture of your gift, how it's going to look, what you're sending, what the message is, and then uh, send it. And then send it away. Uh, it gets me a warning. Yeah, don't show that again. I don't need warnings. Um, so that removes it from your garage, does it? So it yeah. isn't just sort of like passing clones around. This is an actual trade of vehicles. Uh, uh, it's a gifting of vehicles. You give it ah. away. Um, I love that. Very um, interesting. Wonderful. Yeah, it's, uh, every, everybody knows that the, uh, the Forza community is full of really awesome people. Uh, so we know that mm -hmm. uh, a feature like this is really going to uh, really going to sing for those uh, those players. They know that people are going to really love getting into it and giving giving back to the community. Yeah, I Absolutely. think it would be a nice. It pays. Sorry, it, it would be a nice experience when you like just join the game and then someone uh, sends you a gift and you go and receive it and there's like little message being like welcome to Horizon. It kind of makes you mm -hmm. want to send another one as well and like pass it forward as well. Yeah, absolutely, completely agree. Was there anything else you wanted to show off? I mean, we're coming up to the community Q and A's, which I know chat are very very excited about. But I want to make sure we've gone through everything on the list before we dive in. Um, I think we're calling it there. 